Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of speculation about something very exciting that might be coming for part two of the global thank you celebration. And if you guys saw the thumbnail or the title prior to clicking on this video, then you probably know that I'm referring to the possibility of Kale and Khalifla finally making their way over to the global side of the game for part two of this celebration. And to be very clear, all right, like I said, this is speculation, right? So it's definitely possible that they don't come, we don't get their banner, but there are a few signs, a few things that would lead me to believe that it will happen. And the first thing, of course, is that we are definitely due for them because if you look at the JP schedule, um, Kale and Khalifla actually came before LR Full Power Frieza, and they also came before the Trunks and Zamasu Dual Dokkan Fest, so we're actually overdue as far as the scheduling goes. Of course, you know, Bandai does like to change things up from uh, JP to Global, so that's no surprise there, but um, we de we're definitely due for them in that sense, right? And the other thing is that, uh, well, I actually didn't notice this myself until yesterday, but it was pointed out to me by my good friend Toon Rami, who's also a Dokkan YouTuber, so go check him out if you guys uh, have a chance. And he told me that some people on his stream yesterday pointed out that for the news release, for part one of the global thank you celebration, they had an image of Vados and Champa for the special missions section, right? And uh, Bandai has been known to tease upcoming events and upcoming characters in uh, these images in the past. I mean, it doesn't always happen, but it has happened before. So uh, that's also another little clue, potentially a little clue uh, dropped on us by Bandai telling us that there's going to be some Universe 6 themed things coming for part 2. And uh, of course, when it comes to Universe 6 things, as far as what we can expect based on what happened on JP, there's the Kale and Khalifla banner. There is also the Universe 6 story event that we are long, long overdue for. And I did predict in my original, you know, thank you celebration speculation video that we would be getting the Universe 6 story event finally for this celebration. So, um,. I feel like we might actually get both of those things for part 2, the Universe 6 story event with all the farmable free to play Universe 6 units and also the LR, Kale, and Khalifla banner. Now there is the possibility that instead of Kale and Khalifla, we instead get uh, this right here. One sec, let's move on to Yeah, so <laughs> there is a chance that instead of the Kale and Khalifla banner, we instead get this featured LR Beerus Legendary Summon Banner, which, let's be real, is significantly, significantly less hype, um, but it's also a possibility, so definitely prepare yourself for that. And uh, this banner, guys, was not the greatest, I gotta say. Really, really, I mean, here's the thing. Legendary Summon Banners are never great value. Um, they always feature like some pretty good non Dokkan Fest units, right? So, you know, the Rage Vegeta here is still excellent. Um, this guy got an easy A on JP, and of course, on Global, he'll eventually get the easy A too, so he does become much better. And, um, you know, she's a good support, he's still not bad, so it's not like the worst banner, but it's definitely not an amazing banner. And especially LR Beerus not being like the most hype LR for a lot of people, even though I do feel like he's quite underrated for how much damage he can do. Um, it would be a pretty big letdown if we get this LR Beerus banner instead of an LR Kale and Khalifla banner. Uh, but once again, anything's possible. It, it, it is possible we get this. It is possible we get Kale and Khalifla. It's possible we don't get either of those and we get something else. So do keep that in mind. But let's go back to the Kale and Khalifla banner here real quick. And uh, of course, this was what the banner looked like on JP. And these were the featured units. And I do expect, you know, if we do get this banner for part two, that the featured units will look exactly like this too. And um, as I just said, Legendary Summon Banners, never the best banners to spend your stones on. Uh, they bait you in with the new LR, and this new LR is definitely very, very tempting, all right? Kale and Khalifla is regarded by a lot of people uh, to be the best unit in the game right now. Now, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I would have to 
probably test them out on different teams a lot more than I have up to this point to uh, really determine whether or not I would give them that title. But a lot of people, especially a very prominent member of the Dokkan community, believe that they are the best unit. And I'm not going to say they're not. I'm just going to say that I don't or I can't say for sure if I agree with that. But uh, I can say that they are very, very good. They hit extremely, extremely hard. Uh, they have an equally amazing leader skill for uh, one of the, if not the most busted category in the entire game, the joined forces category, um, as far as like how many just busted OPLRs are in that category. And um, they also fit on a lot of great teams, right? They're on Pure Saiyans, I'm pretty sure they're on Universe Survival Saga, uh, Universe 6 obviously, and so on and so forth. So they're just really, really good, man. They're just an amazing, amazing unit and uh, definitely one that everybody could benefit from pulling. But that being said, the rest of this banner really isn't that amazing. I mean, there is this new STR Kale and also Tech Khalifla, both of which are very good units who don't have awakenings. So once they do get their awakenings, they should be that much better, right? And um, there's also, you know, Intri Brienne, who is quite good, Fizz Khalifla, who is still quite good, uh, Tech Bula, who is actually still one of the best support units in the game right now with her awakening. And uh, the rest of the units, you know, she's pretty solid. This uh, Tech 18 right here, this Kale is actually pretty monstrous if you have her with a couple dupes. And uh, AGL Khalifa honestly is pretty underwhelming, but hopefully in the future she gets like an easy A that makes her better. Like right now she's good for dodging, but that's pretty much it. And uh, of course this Int hit kind of sucks. And uh, this AGL God Coup is okay but you're not gonna run him over like the tech god coup or especially the new int lr super saiyan god goku right so uh this banner overall i would say if i were to rate it i would give it like a five maybe six out of ten for value probably five honestly maybe 5.5 let's say 5.5 out of 10 for value and for comparison i would probably rate the trunks and samasu banners like nine out of ten each because they're both very very good banners with a lot of great units really good value for your stones so if you guys are struggling between like saving for a banner like this versus just spending most of your stones on the trunks and zamasu banners i would still say if you're not done summoning yet if you haven't pulled what you wanted uh the trunks and zamasu banners are still b way better value man i would still say you're better served you're doing yourself a, a service by spending your stones on those banners versus uh, saving a ton for a banner like this, all right? But that being said, like I said, uh, Kellen Khalifla, definitely very, very hype, definitely amazing, uh, an amazing, amazing unit. And I personally will be going for them, but I would recommend for people to maybe do two to three multis, maybe four multis at the most, at least for the average player. If you guys are whales, you spend a lot of money on stones, and you don't really need my recommendation, but for the average player, for the free-to-play player, or the person that doesn't spend that much money on the game, I would say 3-4 multis, test your luck, see if you get the Kale and Khalifla, if not, then just take the L and uh, move on with their life, you know, you'll get them eventually, well, I mean, they'll come to the Baba Shop at some point for gold coins, right, so you can buy them there, or maybe you'll pull them um, on another legendary summon banner when you're going for another featured LR or something like that, but don't, do, don't go too crazy, alright, don't go too crazy because the chances of you getting completely shafted, spending like 500 stones to 1000 stones and getting nothing are just way too freaking high and I don't want people to deal with that sadness, that depression, you know, so um, yeah, that is the banner right there. And uh, real quick, let's actually move on to the story event. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this in case you're not aware of it. And uh, this is the Universe 6 event that came out on April 1st of 2019 for JP. So it's been, what, six plus months. And uh, this is actually a really good story event. So the increased drop uh, category is Universe 6. And there are four new free-to-play units that can be farmed from here. A Fizz Hit, a, a Sauno and Perina a str champa and also a uh, agl bados and in total if you do a stone count here there's one two three four five six seven eight plus one two three four five six from the missions for a total of 14 free to play stones 
and um, I'm not gonna go into detail about each of the cards, but I do know that the uh, Vados is quite a good support unit, and I think she might be the only one out of the four that has a Dokkan Awakening at the moment, so uh, she is kind of the main prize here. And I've been wanting a Vados card for a very long time, guys. I know people before this came out really wanted a Vados card as well, so now we have one, and uh, she's quite good. So I can't wait for this story event. Hopefully, it does come for part two of the thank you celebration. But uh, as I'm, ref as I said before this video started or before we got into it, pure speculation. All right, anything can still happen for part two, and. We might not get any of this stuff, but we have a few clues, right? We have the image, we have the fact that we're overdue for both the story event and also the banner. So um, there's always a chance, there's always a chance. And that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to fill you in on this little rumor and uh, this little, I guess, speculation that's going around the community right now. A lot of people are expecting Kale and Khalifa to drop for part two and uh, the Universe 6 story event as well. But uh, I don't know for sure. Nobody knows for sure until we get more information from some of the data leakers like Kawhi or Dokener and uh, so on and so forth. So until then, just hold tight. Don't get too excited, but. Just keep this information at the back of your mind, you know, the possibility that Kale and Khalifa are coming. And before we go, I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below whether or not you guys will be hyped for a Kale and Khalifa uh, banner, you know, coming for part two, whether or not you guys would summon on this banner, and how many stones would you uh, spend on this banner. Like I said, not the greatest value, all right? The chances of you getting shafted and feeling a lot of regret is the chances are pretty high, so um, yeah, I, I would say be conservative, go conservative, don't go too crazy, don't spend like a thousand stones and like that, but that's your call. You know, I'm probably gonna spend a couple hundred, 300, maybe 500 for two videos, and that that would be it, man, that would be it for me. So, um, oh, actually no, before we go, I totally forgot, yo, one sec. So, uh, the part two uh, celebration, or part two of the celebration should also come with this thank you celebration banner or the Tanabata banner that JP got and uh, it should uh, bring us the return of the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as well as the LR Gohan and Goten. Now I do think these two are confirmed like the LR Super Saiyan 4 should definitely be there. The third featured unit like main featured unit um, I think should be them because they've been gone for a while but it could be something else and uh, as you can see from this banner there are a lot of featured units a lot of dokkan fest exclusives some of them are i mean most of them are actually very very good most of them do have extreme z awakenings or i say like half of them okay maybe slightly less than half of them have extreme z awakenings and uh, if you guys are missing a lot of these units, if you guys are newer players, you don't have a lot of the 120 leads, you don't have a lot of the 70% leads, then this is actually not a bad banner to spend some stones on. And of course, you always have the chance to pull one of these three LRs, right? Or at least these two LRs, possibly Gohan and Goten if they are on the banner. And that's also a point of consideration for people that are thinking about how they want to spend their stones, right? Like for Kale and Khalifla, or for the thank you celebration banner. Once again, Kale and Khalifla not confirmed, but this banner is uh, definitely coming. I can say with 100% certainty that this banner is coming with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. And um, if I were, I mean, honestly, if I were to decide between Kale and Khalifla or the thank you celebration banner, I think the thank you celebration banner actually is better value, but that's just me. I mean, for the average player, um, for me personally, it's it, it's a definitely a tough decision because I have most of these guys rainbowed, right? Not these three guys for sure, but the rest of the banner is mostly rainbowed for me. So my chances of pulling something I don't need, uh, it's just way too damn high. Like I I would have a hard time spending too many stones on this banner, probably like three multis and uh, trying to pull one of the LRs, and that would be it for me. But the decision is going to depend on how new of a player you are, what your box looks like. If you guys are missing a lot of these units, then it's actually a very, very good banner to pick up some of these Dokkan Fest units, right? So uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it went a little bit longer than maybe 
uh, you would have wanted or I was honestly hoping to go but I think we covered some good information and as I said once more information more concrete information comes out about part two which should be starting in about a week I believe I don't know the exact start date but about a week is when it, we can expect stuff to uh, go down and uh, I'll keep you guys posted in a future video and as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out